Hello everyone, I have a bit of a haul here for you guys today. It's some trains I picked up on eBay for fairly cheap. I wanted to show them to you guys. I thought they were pretty cool and they had some interesting additions. So let's crack this open and see what we got. All right, first off we got this really cool BQ23-7. And this is the only one that was ever made in HO scale by Bachman. It's very cool. I've always wanted one. This one has some very neat upgrades. Let's see what we got inside here. It's wrapped pretty nicely. Now this is a dummy unit, um, but that's fine with me. I'm just gonna run it. Add some locomotive. Dang, that looks pretty nice. As you can see, it's also been um, patched for CSX. Uh, yeah, this looks really nice. It has some, a little bit of, I guess, weathering. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. You can see they added some more details, outlined the windows in the front, some number boards, some other little additions here and there. Just make it look like a fairly decent locomotive in it does work this is a nice looking locomotive and i'm excited to run it um and some other stuff still got the metal wheels on it and everything so yeah this is a really cool addition now let's see what the other locomotive looks like this one was pretty cool as well it is also a bachman you probably saw him in box um yeah, let's see. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty heavy. Someone definitely added some weight to this. But this is also a B23-7, but obviously it does not have the same cab style. Um, the reason I got this um, was because it was just it was a bid. It was going for very cheap, but it also has all these grab irons installed. It has number boards. It's been weathered. And it just looked like a pretty nice looking locomotive. And I've been wanting to add some more chassis system locomotives to um, my collection because chassis system is my favorite railroad. And I thought this would be a great addition. And it looks great. It looks better than it did in the photos, to be honest. Um, I can't wait to run this. Now, it pretty sure it doesn't have DCC or anything like that. Um, and these Bachman split frame are fairly hard to put DCC in, but um, we'll see what happens. Maybe I can find someone who can do it for me. I already know one upgrade that I'm gonna make though is um, put a plow on the front here and just to cover up that uh, kind of gap that's in the, in the middle of all these Bachman locomotives from this time er era. But um, yeah, it looks really nice. Um, uh, and then I'm gonna just run these really quick and um, see how they run. I'll show you guys that. Oh, and also uh, this one here costed me about $20. I want it for $20. Uh, and the BQ23-7 costed, uh, it was like $25. I was like the only, like the second bidder I think on it. So these did not go for much at all. And I'm glad I was able to pick these up and these will be great additions to my collection. So let's see how these run and um, hopefully they'll uh, run pretty well. So let's see. All right, let's see how this runs. Oh, that runs pretty well for a Bachman. Ooh, it just derailed. Not too bad. Here are the two locomotives pulling a very long train. Well, it's just the, uh, actually it's just the Chessie B23-7 because the BQ23-7 is a dummy. But that thing has a lot of power. It can pull this whole train, no problem. I think it has some weight in it and probably some other stuff. And it runs pretty well. It's fairly quiet for a Bachman. 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, that just derailed. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, please stay tuned for more videos because I have some locomotives I'm going to show off soon that I'm excited about. And uh, just stay tuned for those things. Uh, see you guys later.